Hi, what the hell is good? We're back with another GTA 5 PS4 modding video. Now what? Uh, you guys literally just kill the support on these kind of videos and I don't see why because I'm just loading GTA 5 with the mod menu and I'm literally just showing it to you guys. That's pretty much it, like a mini tutorial and you guys enjoy these better than actual content videos. So I did post an actual video like yesterday on uh, GTA 5 RP on 5M and uh, some of you guys actually did enjoy that as well, but most of you guys just enjoy these. And I, like I said, I don't know why. So I appreciate the people who stopped by uh, on my video yesterday, which was literally an RP uh, GTA 5 role playing video. It's really fun to play. And I appreciate the ones who actually stopped in and said they enjoyed that video and want to see more. I will definitely post more of those. And uh, I appreciate that. Like I said, that's actual content rather than just showing you guys me loading GTA 5 on the PS4 with the mod menu. But uh, let's go ahead and just hop into this, I guess. If you guys want to see more, drop a like. And uh, if you guys are new and want to see more GTA 5 PS4 modding videos, subscribe to the channel. Uh, my DualShock battery is low. That's going to suck. We're going to have to speed through this a little bit here. So uh, let's go ahead and go into the PlayStation menu if I can. I thought my controller died for a minute. Okay, it is pretty much dead. Let me go ahead and just plug this in, actually. All right, we're back in business. The controller is now charging. I actually didn't realize, but it literally said it died before, like, it disconnected. So we have the charger finally plugged in, and uh, we are good to go. So before we actually hop into this, though, I do want to say that you can only do this on a jailbroken PlayStation 4. I'm not going to go too much into detail for that and how to get a jailbroken PlayStation 4, how to jailbreak yours. All I'm going to say is you do need a jailbroken PlayStation 4 to do this, which is a PS4 basically on version 5.05 firmware a playstation 4 that's never been updated but anyways i do have my jailbroken playstation 4 ready to go so we can now access our exploit page here with all of our modding stuff and exploits and all that so uh, i did just turn on my console so we are gonna have to enable hen this is basically the jailbroken state of the ps4 itself so once i load up hen right here it will give me the notification hen b2.1 loaded I am now pretty much jailbroken. I can do modding and stuff like that. So let's go back into our exploit page. Make our way over to the GTA 5 mod menu folder options we have here. GTA 5 mod menus. There we go. And uh, I can literally use any of these menus. Uh, it doesn't even like matter which one it is. I just can't use the updated ones, which is 1.27. As you guys can see, the, uh, the menus that have 1.27 next to them, it won't run on my console because my GTA 5 it isn't updated to the 1.27. It's just on the stock regular 1.0 firmware. So uh, I can just basically run all the old mod menus. So let's just go ahead and load up. I guess we could do, let's just do the cycle menu right here. Click on that and that's pretty much it. As easy as that, that's how you load a GTA 5 mod menu on the PlayStation 4. Obviously jailbroken. So I'll tell you please launch GTA 5 and uh, the payload is loaded so let's go ahead and uh, load gta 5 I actually have to put in the disc real quick let me do that all right so the disc is loading it should come up any minute here and uh, it's as simple as that we literally have uh, a mod menu on the playstation 4 there we go let's load in here and uh, when you're loading in with a mod menu on the playstation 4 you get some cool notifications on the top left which i'll show you right now i'll just wait until they pop up and then i'll continue the video i mean there's one right there us gta 5 detected setting up environment it's pretty cool and then it'll tell me that the mod menu loaded and how to open the menu so i'll just cut it until we get to that point okay so we should get the mod menu alert any second here normally it pops up when we see the other uh, girl character on the loading screen so it should come up any second i'll just go ahead and wait okay watch it not pop up i mean it's a normal thing it has to come up like right now at least <laughs> yo okay there we go mods activated enjoy for this menu, I guess, it doesn't show... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it doesn't show how to open it, but there is the notification, D-pad left and square. So uh, that's pretty much it. We just wait until we load in the game, and we'll have the mod menu. All right, so we just loaded in D-pad left and square. There we go. We have the mod menu, uh, Psycho's mod menu right there. Holy, my controller just vibrated because I got a phone notification. So let's back out of here, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty sick menu actually. This one isn't too bad. There is a better menu than this. There is actually a couple of better menus than this. So let's go ahead and open this up again. And uh, we are still on the PlayStation 4. I'll show you guys the home screen. So if anyone thinks I switched over to PC, we are still on the PlayStation 4. And uh, let's go ahead and go in self options real quick. Change our model, I guess, to a, you know, we'll do the Pogo. Screw it, why not? Tio. The zombie, how does the zombie look? Okay, the zombies are always the same looking, I guess. 
But uh, yeah, everything works. It's a full functioning mod menu. God mode's already on. Invisible if we want to go invisible. Never wanted so we don't get cops on us. It's pretty sick. And uh, it's really easy to switch mod menus as well. So let's go ahead and actually switch to a better menu. So just to switch menus, just go ahead and close application. Wait for this to close out. Okay, there we go, back in our exploit page. And then from here, back to the GTA 5 mod menus folder. And then we can just select the different menu. And as easy as that, the menu is loaded to another new menu. So let's just wait for this to load. There we go, nice and quick. Payload loaded, please launch GTA 5. Let's go ahead and go to the home page. GTA 5, and there we go. Now we get the same thing for this menu as well, or actually every menu on the PlayStation 4, it'll just show the cool notifications. The only thing that's different will be on how to open the menu. Uh, they sometimes add like the actual buttons, which looks kind of cool. I think this menu actually shows that. Uh, I'm not sure though, if not, not a big deal. But uh, yeah, the only difference with the mod menu notifications is how to open the menu. But there we go. Uh, wild mods menu activated open with left and square enjoy pretty sick so let's load back into the game here with this new menu and uh, i'll show you guys this one as well all right so we're back in the game this one was d-pad left and square as well so there we go wild mods menu right there and uh the thing with this menu is it literally has online modded account features it's a little blurry right now i don't know why I, I mean, I am recording with a phone, that could be why, but there you guys go, you can see it a little bit clearer now, but uh, yeah, add money, remove money, 100% skills, a full modded account could be made within this menu on the PlayStation 4, which is pretty sick, but obviously we can't get online, there's no online access for jailbroken PlayStation 4s, so this uh, menu, or this feature in this menu is not really worth, I guess, having in this mod menu at the moment, but it's pretty cool, everything still does work, uh, self mods, we'll just go ahead and throw on God Mode, Clothing menu, we could change our clothes, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Pretty sick. The heck, dude, I actually never even been through this. Yo, <laughs> okay, invisible legs. Yo, what the? This one is nothing. Thug? That is nowhere near a thug. What the heck? All right. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty sick. The menus work. And uh, it's it's a literally a full functioning mod menu as if you were still on the PC. I'll show you guys again. I'm still on the PlayStation 4 though. Close out of here, open the menu. There we go. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, for some reason, you guys enjoyed these videos where I just show you guys me loading GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4 with the mod menu. So if you enjoyed this one as well, drop a like. I would highly appreciate that. If you guys want to see more GTA 5 videos, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that as well. But that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.